Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. This is the week of July 18th, 2022. And this week we have five stories. The first one is a heavy lift from Dragonfly. We'll talk about Wings that's developing a much larger drone. We'll also talk about DJI that's lobbying to go against the American Security Drone Act. This is kind of a big deal. We'll also talk about someone who tried to fly contraband into a prison. And then lastly, we have another anniversary, uh, which is a one year of stickers. We'll tell you a little bit more about what we did and uh, we're pretty proud of it. So let's get to it. First story this week is a company called Dragonfly uh, that uh, manufactures large drones. Dragonfly has introduced a cargo drone that has a payload of 66 pounds. Yet you read that right. The payload alone is 66 pounds, a range of 19 miles. Uh, the heavy lift drone uses LTE for full autonomous flights and uh, has an endurance of 55 minutes. I can't imagine the size of the batteries on this thing for uh, to go that long and uh, to go carry that much weight. In addition to package delivery, the heavy lift can also be equipped with a new long-range LiDAR unit in order to map very large areas. So this is pretty cool. Uh, you can see the pictures. We'll put a link to the Drone Excel article as well if you want to read more about this. The next thing this week is Wing is developing larger drones. Uh, Wing is a, a company from Alphabet, which is the, uh, the Google uh, off-brand, and uh, they're expanding the size of their drones. And this is a quote from Adam Woodworth, who's the CEO of Wing. He says, just as the ideal vehicle for carrying a ton of gravel would be a dump truck rather than a sedan. The ideal aircraft to carry a bottle of medication is not the same as the best one to deliver a gallon of milk and neither is suited to deliver a refrigerator. Um, this is, uh, you can see the video of their, their large drone that does delivery. Uh, this is interesting. I'm sure the refrigerator mention was uh, more of a, uh, of a concept than anything else. I can't imagine seeing a drone flying out there with a fridge and uh, dropping it in your front yard. That would be interesting. Interesting. But, uh, but I think he has a point in the sense that uh, drone deliveries, if you're going to be delivering a much smaller object, you should be using a small drone. But uh, as the technology evolves, I'm sure they would want to be delivering much larger objects, which means much larger drones to do that. So uh, again, it'll be interesting to see what happens with all this drone delivery. Uh, there's news every day, pretty much, of someone doing something with drone delivery. Uh, we try to keep the, the good nuggets for you guys rather than talk about everything. Uh, but this is um, definitely an interesting topic. The next story is also very interesting. Uh, this is DJI that's trying to lobby against the American Security Drone Act. Uh, they've hired a lobbying firm in an attempt to persuade Congress not to back the American Security Drone Act. Uh, this would prohibit the government from buying drones that are made by Chinese firms, including obviously DJI, and other companies as well uh, that could be a national security risk. Uh, DJI is already on the entity list. We've mentioned this uh, for several years now. This is something that's been going on. The battle against DJI has been going on for several years. Uh, they're also on the Chinese military industry industrial complex list as well. Um, there's, there's a lot at play right here. There's not only a lot at play for DJI, quite frankly, uh, there's also a lot at play for uh, the end user, which happens to be uh, government agencies like your fire department, your police department, and others that have already purchased drones and that may not be able to use them, uh, like what we've seen in Florida, for example, where um, there was a drone manufacturer that lobbied really hard uh, to prevent their competitors from selling drones there. So uh, I think this is a, a big ticket item in a sense. Uh, you know, regardless of how you feel, I think about DJI, uh, you have to at one point realize that DJI provides a type of drone that not a whole lot of manufacturers do and sometimes uh, nobody else provides. So uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. We'll definitely keep you posted when that happens. Last thing this week before we talk about a little Pilot Institute stuff is a man was trying to fly contraband into a prison. Now this is in Texas. Uh, no, it's not in Florida for once. Uh, this is the uh, Don't Be That Guy segment. Uh, they were arrested in Houston after trying to use a heavy lift drone to drop a bag of contraband into the prison. Uh, that included wire cutters, money, smartphones, and tobacco. The charges against the man were included two different counts of improperly, use, uh, improperly flying an aircraft and then each of these carries up to to three years in prison. Uh, typically what we see with these um these cases is uh, that the charges end up being not related to actually flying an aircraft. And then uh, that just depends on the type of lawyer that they have. But again, we'll put a, a link in the description for you uh, if you want more information. All right, the last story this week I'm really excited about. This is our one year anniversary of shipping free stickers for registration to anyone who wants them. And uh, we've actually uh, shipped to 12 
1,800 people so far. Uh, this is only people, actually. A lot of people want second sets of stickers, which we also sent uh, for a total of actually 15,000 stickers that we've shipped uh, since we started this a year ago. Uh, this is really exciting. Every single day we see people coming in and, and getting their stickers. Uh, we ship them really quickly. We actually ship them every single day now uh, because it's been so popular. And um, and we won't stop. We said we were going to stop at 10,000. We are way past that now. And we're going to keep going until, uh, well, until we actually, I don't know. We'll, we'll, I don't know if we'll stop. This is uh, something that we offer now for people. Uh, we see them on Facebook groups all the time, people taking pictures of their drones and having stickers on there. And we're just really excited. Um, if you think about it, we've actually shipped 40 or 60,000 stickers in real life because every time we ship them, we ship four of them uh, as opposed to other places that just give you one batch or one set of stickers uh, for $12 or $15. We actually do all this for free. So uh, this is our way to support the community. This is our way to also bring awareness to uh, registration and where you need to register. Unfortunately, a lot of um, uh, scheme websites out there are going to be uh, trying to lure people uh, with stickers where you can also get your registration, charge you uh, a lot of money for registration when it's only $5. So remember, there's only one place where you can uh, register your drone, which is the FA Drone Zone, uh, dronezone.fa.gov. And um, just go in there, it takes only a few minutes, and then uh, send us a message and we'll send you free stickers. That's it. I said free stickers too many times. Uh, that's all I have for you this week. We'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.